A fiery explosion killed a 50-year-old man who lived in a two-story Fontana house where neighbor Charlie Arias said the victim and his wife were separating. The victim's body was found in the front living room near where at least one blast is believed to have erupted. The blast happened at 9.15 p.m. Thursday evening on the 14,400 block of Southwood Drive, just south of Interstate 10 and Cherry Avenue. A sheriff's bomb and arson squad is investigating the cause. Arias, whose house was damaged by the blast, describes what he witnessed. Around 9 o'clock, and, uh, and uh, by 9.15, we heard a big explosion. And um, we, heard, we heard two of them, one at 9.15 9 and another one at 9.18. We came out to come and take a look, and uh, the house was already off the flames. My neighbor's home. And then uh, we, put, we all the glass flying everywhere. We saw our home sustain some damage also as well. The front, the front window, and uh, some of the the charred uh, furniture on the roof. And uh, we just saw uh, uh, it was uh, oh, it was a lot of really, really bad. The whole thing uh, caught fire. This house next door, my neighbors. And uh, luckily, they weren't in there at the time. The, 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 uh, there, she has three sons, a wife, and uh, we don't know what happened to the, the father. But, you know, we, uh, and, as far as I know, I didn't know exactly who was behind it. You know, anybody was home at the time. Well, the most extensive damage was uh, when I saw the garage just just explode. The whole door, garage door, just blew out straight, straight across the cul-de-sac, and, and just glass everywhere, just shattered everywhere, and all the windows shattered. And, uh, it was really extreme heat right here. And, and I'm surprised I got my family out of time before anybody got hurt. We were out. And I called 911. Um, soon, soon as I heard the, the, the explosion, the blast, at first I thought it was an earthquake, but like 6.5. It, it shook real, really, really, really intense the house. And, and, and I, and I, uh, I came out. And I saw a, a fire, so I, I called 911 right away and told them to get down here quick. So it was going to the flames were they, they were really high. So they, they came down and they and they, they uh, started turning it all off. And, uh, Thank I had to move my car out of there. I had a the car real close. I, 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 had, I had a chance to move it up. And I didn't really want any other more damage to you know, what's going like that. For Richard Brooks, I'm David Zink with the Press Enterprise and PE.com.